find me some non-competitive keywords that will make me money fast. Whoa, this is insane. It's like years of doing keyword research in seconds. Today, I'm gonna show you a million dollar skill utilizing ChatGPT, AI, and a few free keyword research tools. Yep, that's right. This is a skill that has made me over $12 million. And it's actually not that difficult. In fact, it'd be a lot easier if this table stood still. But that's beside the point. How is AI and keyword research going to make you rich? We'll get to that in just a minute. And if you're excited, smash a like button and let me know in the comments below because what you're about to see can be done by literally anyone. If you have an internet connection, a phone, a laptop, or a PC, or any kind of computer, you can make money online. And don't worry, if you're not loaded to begin with, this isn't gonna cost a lot of money to start. In fact, you can get started for $20 a month. Yeah. That's how much the paid chat GPT program costs. And that's pretty much all you need. So get ready because the seven methods I'm going to show you today with AI and keyword research tools can and will make you money when used correctly. Let me repeat that. What you're about to learn can and will make you money if done correctly. But first, a little story. Back when I was first starting internet marketing in the year 2000, I actually came across these keywords that some clients of mine wanted to rank for. These keywords were super competitive and the client thought, well, if I can rank for these keywords, then I'm gonna be able to make a lot of money. Now, at that time, I didn't know much about SEO. I didn't know much about ranking sites on Google or any other search engines. But I did know that people were searching for their business even though it wasn't the keyword that they initially wanted. You see, back then, people would pay me to get them ranked on the search engine. And they'd come to me and say, well, I wanna rank for the word cigar or mortgage or maybe even cell phones. And I would say, well, even though this is the year 2000, those keywords are a little too competitive. And so I talked to the guy who wanted the cell phone rankings and his budget was right around $2,000. And I said, well, I might not be able to get you ranked for the word cell phone, but what if I ranked you for all the different cell phone models that were out there? He said, all right, let's give it a shot. Fast forward a few months later, he was actually making over $10,000 a month as an affiliate for one of those cell phone companies. They would pay him like $100 every time someone got a free cell phone and he actually became one of the top reps in all of America using my simple keyword strategies that you're about to see in this video. And as time went on, I found out that these keyword strategies could get the same amount of traffic. In fact, in 2004, I actually worked with Frank Kern. He came to me and said, I wanna rank for a site about parrots. He had some website about teaching parrots to talk. And at that time, he was buying ads on the major search engines, paying lots of money. He came to me, spent a couple thousand dollars. I performed my keyword magic, got him ranked, and he actually said that the rankings I got him were converting better than the traffic he was paying for. So yeah, these strategies are super important. But until now, you kind of had to have my brain and my expertise to be able to do keyword research properly. But AI has changed that. And what you're about to see is nothing short of amazing. These seven strategies that you're gonna use with AI to create keyword lists that will basically print money on demand are so powerful and they've never been taught anywhere before. Yes, this is the first time I've ever taught this strategy and we're gonna dive in right here, right now, for free. Now, first of all, I want you to realize that I actually found 
nine different tips instead of seven. So there's nine different strategies you're gonna learn in this video. And some of them have made me millions and millions of dollars. But even if you don't get how to make the millions of dollars from this video, one thing I can guarantee if you watch this at least one time all the way through is I will save you hundreds and maybe even thousands of dollars a month on keyword research tools. Because what I'm gonna show you is how to get AI to do the dirty work so that you can use free keyword tools to get the same results that I get. And I spend over $2,300 a month just on keyword tools alone. So smash a like button to let me know you're excited because what we're about to cover here is nothing short of amazing. And we're gonna start by looking at the different tools. First of all, SimilarWeb is a tool that you can use to see a website's traffic. This is actually one of my students making a travel site. You can see that once he started following our advice, his traffic skyrocketed. And guess what? He's using AI content. And you can see that AI content is actually ranking like crazy. Now, I've talked to him and he's not making $9,000 a month, but he is making a pretty decent amount. And we actually just started working with him recently in the blog profit network members area to help him boost those numbers up because I found a lot of keywords that can make a lot more money when used correctly. But you might be saying, Marcus, isn't Ahrefs a really expensive tool? And yeah, you're right, it is. So let's talk about free keyword tool number one. The first tool we're gonna look at here is the Ahrefs free keyword tool. You can just go to Google and type in Ahrefs free keyword tool and you can find this tool. Now, this tool is useful for two different things. One, seeing the rankings on a website by doing this right here and seeing where the websites rank. You could see all the different keywords and things like that. Very simple, very easy. The second thing we're gonna use this for is the keyword difficulty checker. Now, I've used lots of keyword tools, I've spent lots of money, and nothing comes close to the accuracy of the difficulty that I find with Ahrefs. For some reason, their algorithm just works with what I'm trying to do. And what this is gonna do is it's going to allow us to put in a keyword here, and it's gonna pop up the difficulty score for how hard it's gonna to be to rank on Google. And as we can see here, this one is pretty much impossible, but something like this is a little bit easier with a score of 24. If you have a brand new website, you wanna stay under 10 for the keyword difficulty so that you have a better chance of ranking. Again, it's not a guarantee, but it does give you a good shot. The second keyword tool we're gonna to look at is the Hoth keyword tool. This one here is actually gonna show us the competition, it's gonna show us the volume and the intent of the searcher, and the cost per click and other factors that are very important. The second thing we're gonna use over on the Hoth is the free Google Rank Checker. This is going to tell us what a website currently ranks for and which keywords are getting them the most traffic. This is super important. And the third thing we're gonna use over at the Hoth is going to be the free website traffic checker. This is where you can put up to 25 different websites in here and see how much traffic they're getting, the organic keywords, and all kinds of stuff like that. Now, it's very important that when using these tools, you pay close attention to these little download buttons here. Right here where it says export to CSV. We wanna make sure that we know where that's at and we know how to use it. And if you don't, don't worry, that's what this video is about. The next free keyword tool we're gonna to use is keywordtool.io. This is going to allow you to export a ton of different keywords related to a seed keyword. Like in this example, the seed keyword is make money. Now, you're gonna see that a lot of this stuff is blurred out, but that's not gonna matter because what we're looking for is this little button right here that allows us to export it to an Excel file, right? Like that, it'll download the Excel file, and I'm gonna show you what to do with this in just a minute. And then for bulk search volume, we're gonna use searchvolume.io. And again, if you want an entire list of all the stuff with notes of what I'm saying, after you watch this video, check out downloadmynotes.com. This is super important. 
Now, let's dive in to the nine ways to use these free keyword tools and ChatGPT to do keyword research in a way that's gonna help you find tons of ways to make money online. All right, so the first strategy we're gonna use is called the intent chart. This is where we are gonna find the intent of various different keywords based on a list and based on whether they wanna buy something, research, or whatever it is. And we're gonna start by looking at my trigger word list here that you can find at downloadmynotes.com. What we're gonna do is take a random keyword like this. This is what we call a trigger word. Notice how these trigger words are not tied to any market. They're just kind of broad. Like it doesn't say what kind of things people want cheap. It just says cheap or codes or cost or something like that. And what we're gonna do is we are going to take the word cost, right like this. We're gonna put it into the Hoth free keyword tool, right like this, and we're gonna hit view keyword research. This is going to generate a list of words based on the seed word of cost. Then what we're gonna do is scroll down to the bottom and hit export to CSV, right like this. Now, using this method, you're gonna to wanna to convert this to an Excel file, which is actually pretty easy. All we're gonna do is open up Excel right over here like this, and we are gonna drag the file right into a blank workbook, right here, right like this. And then once we're done, we just hit file, save as, and we're gonna save it as a Excel workbook. That is gonna make it so that ChatGPT has a little bit easier time figuring out what these keywords are and getting this stuff from the file. If we just upload it as a CSV, sometimes ChatGPT gets a little confused. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to GPT-4 and we're gonna choose the code interpreter. Now, in the code interpreter, what a lot of people don't realize is that we can actually give the code interpreter a file. So I can give it this phrase match file and I can say, please make a chart or table of these keywords with the difficulty and please add a column for search intent based on what the user wants. Boom. This is gonna go through and it's gonna take that entire file and it's gonna tell us what these keywords are based on so that we know what they're after. Are they looking to buy something? Are they looking for information? Are they just kind of looking for images? What is it that they want based on the keywords? Now, this is important because this is the skill that has made me millions of dollars online. Being able to go out there and find keywords that may not have an obvious intent, but we can flip them into something that does. For example, mortgage calculator probably doesn't have a commercial intent. That's someone just looking to calculate their mortgage. But I know that if I can teach them about refinance and how it can save them money, then I can make lots of money. And that's exactly what I did with my mortgage calculator website that has made as much as $1,700 a day in profit. Now again, remember those are my numbers. The results are not typical, implied or guaranteed, and the average person trying to make money online makes nothing. But what you're seeing here is strategies using ChatGPT and AI to kind of figure out what people want. And we could see here, it has the keyword, the volume, cost per click, and then it goes ahead and says, here's what the intent is. And we could see at a glance that a lot of these are informational. Now, this is where it gets really good. I can actually say, now please do this on the entire file, add another column for something I can use to make money with the traffic for each keyword and make the file downloadable, please. Gotta be nice to the AI, right? What this is gonna do is it's actually gonna go out there and create this because up here, you're gonna see we only get five keywords. However, I know that the Hoth gave us 50 keywords. So we're gonna ask it to make a file based on this stuff, which is gonna be really cool. Now pay attention, because it could actually go through and it could ask you another question like, oh, hey, what do you mean by intent or something like that? Usually it'll get it right on the get-go, but sometimes it takes a little work. And if you understand how powerful this is, smash the like button and type powerful strategy 
in the comments below. And we could see here now it has a monetization strategy and it's making the thing right like this. And it's gonna show us, hey, is this what you want? And they'll say, hey, you can monetize through advertisements or affiliate links. And then it'll go through and find out what we can do here. Now, some of it you're gonna to wanna to think through a little bit because Costa Rica, I would probably monetize that with travel rewards affiliate offers. So, you know, you gotta kinda of look at that, but this is gonna give us an idea. And now it says you can download the updated Excel file using the link. So let's download this file and see how it looks with everything that we added. All right, so now we can see here, it shows us the intent at a glance and then it shows us the monetization strategy. Now, as we go through, we can kind of get different information based on different keywords. So if I go through and I say, well, let's do the word mortgage, right? Mort gauge. We're gonna see a big list here, right? Like this, we'll go ahead and download it, right? Like this, export to CSV. I'm gonna open that blank workbook and open this one up, right, like this. There we go. And then we'll just save it again, file save as, and we'll save it as Excel Mortgage Hoth, right, like that, okay? And you can make these tools all the time, and you could even, like, put these tools on your website and get traffic. I do this all the time. It's pretty cool. Once you know this skill, there is so much that you can do with it, which we'll have a follow-up video. So smash a like button if you want to see that follow-up video, because I think that this is so powerful if you understand it. So now we'll take the mortgage Hoth file and we'll say, now please do the same thing on this one, but add the type of affiliate offer that might work best okay now this is going to do it on the mortgage one and i'm using two different examples so that you can see that it's actually thinking about the keywords it's actually going through and looking at the data and saying hey this is what you can do with it and sometimes you're going to get something that is an absolute zinger and again remember this is a free keyword tool and chat gpt so for 20 bucks a month you can get the same kind of data that i'm getting here and you can do the same thing if you want to go through and utilize keyword tool.io i could type mortgage and on this one you're going to get some keywords right and it'll give you like i think the first five but when you download it you're actually will do export to export to excel that way we don't have to convert it and we could see that one has like 600 words and we could go through and say okay here it's got an affiliate offer type column now and it's going to show us what we can do okay so mortgage calculator it says mortgage services financial credit okay good so this is giving us a little bit more detail and this is really going to come in handy because at a glance i could see exactly what people want what their intent is how i can make money with them and this is this is stuff that no other keyword tool offers. There is no keyword tool on the market that'll give you this kind of information. So now we can see it has actually created the file for us. We can download that and see exactly uh, what it looks like. So this is the original, and now we can see, oh, hey, brand specific offers for Rocket Mortgage. Okay, so that's telling us, you know, go find a Rocket Mortgage affiliate offer uh, or whatever it is. And we can see exactly at a glance what we're looking at. And this is, Super powerful. Again, if you're digging this stuff, let me know. Now let's go through and I can say, now please do the same for this list. Okay, and we can go through and this list is not gonna have the, um, the keyword, what do you call it, the, uh, the, the volume, right? So this one's not gonna have the volume. So what we're gonna need to do is go through and get a, a bulk volume checker, right? I think it was this one here. Okay, so this here is our list. All right, so we could do this list here and then we can go to like a bulk keyword volume checker, which is like this here, okay? Searchvolume.io. This is why this is super important, right? If you can do this at a glance, it's gonna work like crazy and we get to do 800 different keywords here. So here we see, okay, here's our search volume, download CSV, put this into our Excel, and this is making us literally like a keyword master and intent master and everything like that, which is pretty cool. So I can go through and let's say, we'll save this one here. 
uh, for this list. Okay, so we'll do this for this list. Okay, and it should do the trick. It might have a little trouble because it is a CSV and I wasn't able to convert it because it has like these weird uh, characters in it. It's separated by those semicolons, which ChatGPT should be able to figure this out. I think it'll be actually pretty easy. And then once we're done, we can actually do a chart based on the intent, which is cool. I'll show you that in just a second here. So now we can see it's finishing working. Processing new file, it's got the info, and let's see what we got here. Okay, so it's semicolon, and it's probably going to ask us, like, is it semicolon? Okay, it's correcting it. There we go. So it's going to correct the file for us, and then it's going to add the intent and the affiliate offers as well, which is going to be really cool. And that's going to be on these keywords here for all the mortgage stuff, which is pretty solid, right? And then of course we can use the free tools to find the competition and everything like that. So here we go. It's going to do the correct rendering like this. Sometimes this takes a while, right? Like this. And alternatively, I could probably just go ahead and paste all this into ChatGPT and ask it to make an Excel file separating these. Um, that might be uh, faster, but let's see here. It's going to go ahead and continue on. And it looks like it skipped the monthly search volume. So what I'm going to do is say, please correct where search volume on mortgage calculator equals that number there. And I can say, here is what it looks like on each word. Okay. This should fix it. Right? It takes a little bit of work, but I mean, this is making us basically a keyword master in seconds. So I think the work is actually really worth it. So we're going to see here that it's going to do this work. It's going to add those and do everything there. And it's actually doing a good job of finding the different um, affiliate offer types and different things like that. And you can even ask it, hey, go find an offer on OfferVault or ClickBank or something like that uh, that fits this, which is this is going to be insanely profitable when used correctly. That's why you want to watch this video at least one, two, maybe even three times all the way through so that you get what's going on here because this is where I this is where the crux of my entire business is relies on. Like I have made money using this stuff time and time again for over 23 years. And so we're going to go through and take a look here. And now we can see it did, in fact, add the average monthly searches. We're going to make sure it's different. It is different on all of them. So now we have this ready to go, and it's going to give us a file based on this that we can take and use for our clients. We can use it for our own sites. We can use it for YouTube keyword research, pretty much whatever we want. And you can see you just download the file right like this. And then I can say, now please make a chart based on the top keywords by intent, right? And it'll go through and it'll make a chart based on the top keywords by intent. And this will allow me to see at a glance exactly where I need to be. And then of course we can get into the competition stuff as well. But what this is going to do is it's going to give you the intent, the keywords, different stuff like that. And we can see that the majority is informational on this keyword list. So we're going to have to do a little work on this list to figure out, okay, how can we take them from informational searching for mortgage stuff to actually commercial where they're going to make money. And you can even say, what are some commercial intent keywords in this market? And it'll actually tell you. Now, this is important because what this is going to do is it's going to teach you how to flip the market. I can take these informational keywords that are very non-competitive, then I can take these keywords that ChatGPT just gave me and make articles on my website about them, and that's gonna trigger a much higher paying ad, it's gonna trigger more clicks to affiliate offers, and literally all I'm doing is saying, hey, if you wanna figure out the best mortgage credit, uh, lenders for bad credit, click here. Boom, that instantly makes the click worth more money than say something like mortgage calculator. Very important. This is a strategy that is worth so much money if you pay attention to it. I've done this time and time again. I've made millions of dollars going through and taking keywords like how to fix your MySpace page and make a bunch of money or mortgages or uh, right now we're working on net worth of different people who make money online. Because obviously, if you're looking up the net worth of someone, you're interested in making money in some capacity. 
I can flip that market in a really solid way. Or even people that say like, why was I denied for a car loan? Right, then I can go through and say, hey, repair your credit. Boom, that's an expensive keyword that I can get them into. So we could see here, like based on this, here are the ones that have commercial best mortgage rates. Very simple to make a page about best mortgage rates and put expensive ads on it, which is going to happen automatically because it's about the best mortgage rates. And if you understand the flip the market, type flip the market in the comments below. And this is basically how you can get the keyword intent. And this is strategy one. Now we're going to talk about number two, which is the competition finder. This is super important because this is going to find you keywords that you never knew existed. What you're going to do is you're going to take the keyword that you want to rank for. Let's say I'm going to go for something like SUV with the best visibility. I can see we have consumer reports, auto buy tell, this site, motor and wheels. What we're going to do is we're going to look specifically for websites that are about SUVs and buying SUVs. Like this one here happens to be my website, newsuv.org. You can see this stuff works. I'm ranking right there. Um, and this keyword actually does get traffic, SUV with best use, uh, visibility, 200 searches a month. And we got lots of other keywords. And what we can see here is we can take all these different pages, SUV life, that would be a good one, and a best 10 cars, that might be a good one as well. And we can go through and we can find the keywords on these different sites. What I can do is I could go through and I can say to ChatGPT, we'll open a new chat. I can say, find me some comp competing SEO sites in this market like this one, right? Please try to only find ones related to buying new SUVs rather than generic car sites. Boom. Okay. So we'll do that. I'm going to copy this just in case GPT-3 doesn't do a good job. But here we go. Let's see if it does. It's going to give us some based on uh, 2021 search results. All right. Let's try, let's try this one in... GPT-4, let's do default. Or actually, let's do code interpreter. That way I can download it if it's there, right like this, and see if it'll work. Now, if it doesn't work here, we might be able to go to Bard. Bard can actually work really good. Okay, well, maybe it's going to. Let's see here. All right, let's try Bard while we wait, because Bard, Bard is actually free, so bard.google.com. And we can say, um, let's copy the same exact prompt here. Here we go. And Bard should probably do this because Bard is actually on the web right now. Um, and we're going to use these in conjunction with each other. This is such a powerful tool here. So here we have Car Gurus, Kelly Blue Book, Edmonds. Um, please try for just SUV sites. Okay. And it'll actually do that. Now, you can also go through and you can find competing sites on the keyword tool. So if, the, if this doesn't do it, we can go through and take like this, go to the Hoth, and we're gonna go to Domain Authority. I think they have a, a tool that'll show what it ranks for. So we're gonna go like this. I think it's Ranking Checker, I believe. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna do Ranking Checker like this, view Google rankings, and we can go through and we can download this one Okay, and you can see the competition there. It's actually pretty low competition. Number of results is what we're looking at there. And then we can go through and find other ones. So I could put in newsuv.org, right, like this. And I can download that one right here. Got a lot of good keywords on that one. Actually, I was thinking about revamping that site today. All right, so we're going to go through and get those, and then we can find... Um, some other ones here. Let's do 10 best cars. And what we can do is take these keywords here. We'll have three different keyword lists. Hopefully, hopefully it'll get it without us having to convert all of these. Or you know what we could do? We could go bulk CSV to Excel converter. So we could go like this and we can use a free converter like this. So let's try free convert here. And let's see if we can do one, let's see, one, 
Should be able to drag and drop these here. One, two, three. So we'll convert to XLS. That should do the trick. And let's see. There we go. Cool. So now we can download them all. There we go. They'll show up right down here. All right. And I can go here, show in folder. And then we'll extract them right like this. Okay. And then, now we have all these, I can go into new chat, GPT-4, code interpreter. I'm gonna take all these files here, zoop, right like that. Oh, let's only one at a time. Okay, so we'll do one at a time here. One, I'll say I am, let's, let's actually go to the same one here, key, keyword intent. Now I am going to send you three files for comparable, sites and I would like the same same kind of report okay and it'll say go ahead and upload your three files so it's going to go ahead and give us a preview of each file so that we know exactly what's going on right same kind of thing right like that and now that it's processed all the files we can actually start asking stuff based on all three files together so I can say please use these three files I gave you to come up with a master keyword list where the URLs of the sites is the last column and the keyword is the first, okay? Also, please make duplicate keywords bold and red. Boom. Watch what this does. This is going to be crazy. It's actually going to go through and do all the work for us in a matter of seconds. And even though I've been doing this business for like 23 years, unfortunately, I'm sorry to say the chat GPT can do this a heck of a lot faster than I can. But again, the information is going to be useless if you don't know what to do with it, which is why you want to watch this entire video at least one or two, maybe even three times all the way, because there's some stuff in here that will make you money if used correctly. And if you want to watch my future videos, it's going to be based on this concept as well. So it's very important that you get this here. And it actually added a traffic percentage number, which is pretty cool. So we have position um, and it's showing the new SUV one first and it's gonna get us the entire list here. And it should do this based on all the um, keywords, all the sites and everything. And then it is adding the intent, or actually let's, let's tell it to add the intent. Um, now, please add intent and sample affiliate offers column, as well as high paying keywords that fit each keyword, please. Boom, here we go, right like this. And it's going to go through and find us the high paying keywords. It's gonna find us the affiliate offers. It's gonna make the entire file. And let's just make sure that it did use all the files I said. So it's called master keyword list, a new SUV and 10 best cars. So it is actually doing the entire list, which is cool. So we got 230 keywords there, and now it's going through. Let's see how it does with the um, intent and the sample expensive keywords. It's being kind of slow. Uh, monetization, intent, so it didn't add that. Let's see, now please add the intent. Here's the first rows. Okay, please add a column for high paying AdSense keywords on each of these. For example, new SUV with seven seats could go to auto loans or something like that. Okay, that's gonna go through and it'll do another column hopefully. All right, this now we're getting into the nitty gritty because this is helping us flip the market in a really cool way. So here we have this and let's see what we got here. And we could probably even get like a bulk keyword cost per click checker 
which would help as well. I mean, it's, and this is all using free keyword tools. All you got to do is pay 20 bucks a month for ChatGPT and you're good to go. And the reason we pay is so that we get the version that will allow us to give it Excel files, uh, which is super important, right? Because you're basically taking a file like this, which, you know, very few people know how to use this file and letting ChatGPT do the work for you, which is awesome. So really cool stuff. Um, and again, we're only on strategy number two. There's a lot more coming up. This is going to be a doozy uh, for those that are actually following along and want to get the info like right there. Oh, there we go. Potential high paying keyword. Okay. That's not doing that great of a job. I could probably ask it. Now, please try to find a you know, whatever. So let's see, uh, you can download the file. So it didn't do the master or the, it didn't do the high paying keyword, but it did have a column, but it is actually going through and looking at affiliate offer type monetization, uh, intent. I mean, this is super good info. If you're looking at this and you're like, wow, this is kind of like a keyword report I'd probably pay for. Right. And, you know, I've paid for stuff like this. It works really well. So, like, even if you just learn what's here on this video, you could go out there with a $20 chat GPT. You can go to Fiverr and you could start a business where you literally do keyword research unlike anyone else. Right. SEO keyword research. Here you go. Uh, 15 bucks, 25 bucks, 15 bucks. And you can see this guy sold a thousand of them. 800 of them. So there's a lot of stuff here. And this is kind of thing where if you do this all day, you could easily make two, three hundred bucks a day or even more using this strategy. And then, of course, back end them into high paying SEO services or whatever it is, or have a site about what to do after you get the report and have some high paying ads on it. I mean, this is not that hard to do now that we have AI before. Yeah, it was pretty hard to do. But Hey, there you go. You know, this is something where it's actually doing a lot of the work for us. And I mean, this is amazing stuff. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to do strategy number three, which is parse keyword data. When we're talking about parsing keyword data, we can actually go through and have it add different things, remove different things. We could go through and say now based on these the master file what are the top 25 keywords with low competition and high search volume boom this will go through and do the trick for us it's going to extract it it's going to parse the data it's going to get what we need at a glance that way you're not really just going out there and guessing but you're going to get real world info so it's going to go and make an assumption based on long tail keywords all right so let's let's see how it does um, i found that it's actually pretty good now again if your list is missing something right if we go through and we look at our master list like this and we say well it doesn't really have it doesn't really have the competition i can take this right like this 230 keywords i can go to the bulk competition checker right this one here uh, competition low so i can go to one of these i can put the entire list in get that and say now please add this to the file and it'll do this in a really simple way and we can see here it is actually doing a, a good result here. So let's let's test it out and see if ChatGPT is doing as good as some of the expensive tools. So we'll go out there and let's say, please put this in an Excel file I can download, right? Like this. And we're going to do this here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to SEMrush or Ahrefs or whatever it is I want. And I'm going to go to keyword, let's, I think it's keyword overview, 1 to 100 keywords. Okay, so I could do 1 to 100 keywords, or I could do um, right over here, I could do keyword explorer, and I think I could do 200 here, maybe a bunch. I don't know how many this allows me to do, but I can now take this file, which only has 25, so either one will be fine. Here we go. Download 25 words. And now I can take these 25 words 
and I can actually see if these are non-competitive like ChatGPT says. All right, so we'll put it here, put it in a Ahrefs, and let's see if it did a good job. KD37, so there are some in here that are pretty decent. And yeah, actually it did a really good job. Look at all these here. Like these are keywords I wouldn't have, bronze rims on a white car. I never would have thought of that, fastest SUVs, right? These are keywords that I might never have thought of and it's going through and saying, hey, the KD is pretty low. So it's actually doing a really good job based on utilizing these free keyword tools by parsing the data. And it doesn't just stop there. There's lots of other ways that you can parse the data. I could go through and say, um, now make a list of all the words removing duplicates from the master file, right? And then I could say, please tell me the total search volume of all the words, right? And it'll go through and do that. So now we have this here and it's showing us all the, the 201 unique keywords. It's got some weird ones in there, but we can see exactly what's going on. And you can parse the data super, super fast, super easy. Guys, this is so important. And again, at the end of this video, I've given you tools that you can get by without having to spend on expensive keyword tools. And not only that, but that you could start a job on Fiverr like that doing keyword research, which is amazing. This is something that is so powerful if used correctly. And we're utilizing these free uh, keyword tools that work like crazy. Um, and you can use them on your own site. You can use them on pretty much whatever you want. And this is going to do uh, the work for you right? Pretty cool. And there we go. It's going to do all the stuff. Now that was parsing the keyword tool or parsing the keyword data. The next one we're going to do is very important. This is separate similar keywords and URLs. Now, one of the things that I do on a daily basis is buy and sell domains and build them up for profit. And a lot of you guys watching my videos are doing the same. That's what this guy over here did. Where is he? There he is over here did. And he's got 30,000 visitors a month. He's making money. He's just following along with the videos. This stuff works like crazy. And one of the things that we like to do is take a domain name like this paintball one here. It's got a bunch of different keywords. It's got a bunch of different URLs. So what I did is I actually used a paid keyword tool on this one to get a full list, but you don't have to get the full list if you can't afford a fancy keyword tool. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go and look up the keywords. I'm gonna go to keywords like this, and then I'm gonna go to calendar. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to download a two year report of everything this website ever ranked for in the last two years. This is super important because when building these sites up, we have to follow along. So we're gonna go right like this. And now we have a list of 2,400 almost keywords that this ranked for, but we don't want duplicates and we wanna make sure we know the URLs and things like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna export this here, right like this, and I can do all 2,300. And I think it's gonna do a CSV. Let's see, does it actually do, let's see if it actually does Excel or something. I don't think so. Okay, so we're gonna have to open it in Excel, of course, you know, gotta have that extra step there. We're gonna go like this, open this in Excel, and now we have a giant 2,400 keyword list with URLs and everything. So we'll go ahead and save as, save as, and we'll save this as paintball two year, okay? Then we're gonna save it and we'll go to our chat GPT and we'll say GPT-4 code interpreter and we are going to upload our paintball two year and I will say, please take this list, remove all duplicate keywords and the, what does that call it? A column? No, columns are that way. And the row, it's a row, row associated so that each keyword only has one row. Then please make make a column for the URL slugs. I slugs, here we go, slugs. I want 
it to be like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell it how I want these to be listed. So right here, we have URL equals, I want a column for folder where ANS would, would be and a column for slug, which would have ans dash razor dash ion. Boom. Now this should do the trick for us. And what it's going to do is it's going to give me a list of all the URLs and all the keywords they rank for. So I can go at a glance and build these up in a very simple way and not have duplicate content and duplicate junk and everything like that. So we go through right like this and watch what happens here. This is super powerful when we're talking about separating similar keywords and URLs. When you're buying sites, when you're getting expired domains, whatever you're doing, it's very important. So it's gonna say, here's some questions. One, I assume you mean you only wanna keep the first occurrence of each keyword and remove. Yes, uh, let's do one. Yes. Two, for the URLs, I understand the first part and here's the second part. Yes. Let's see. Into two parts. Yes. Let's see if this does it. I think it should. Should get it. And I will go like this. And okay, now please make it downloadable for me. All right, and let's see if it did the right thing. It should have. And this, again, this is something you can do on Fiverr um, and make a living or something you can do with your own stuff as well. So now we have this. Let's see how it looks. And okay. Okay, cool. So check it out. We have folder and slug. This is important because now watch this. I could go through and I can add these by slug. Right, so it looks like folder and slug was reversed, but we can correct that later. Just to show you how powerful this is, if I hit enable editing, I can go through and say, well, I want to sort these. Let's do sort. And I can sort these by, we're always gonna expand the selection. I'm gonna sort them by the URL slug. Where'd we got it? Slug, slug, slug. All right, so let's see if this does it. There we go, folder right like that, or even, um, yeah, folder right like that, and we'll hit OK. And now, at a glance, I can see the keywords that each slug ranked for, right? Do you see how powerful this is? Now I can go through and be like, OK, I'm going to make one post based on these keywords. And then I can even ask it to get me more keywords for each post. But now you can see at a glance how many different pages and posts and different things you need to make to be able to build this site up. And this is something that is so powerful. This used to take eons to do. And now ChatGPT does it in just seconds. And if you dig it, smash a like button. Next, what we're gonna do is strategy number five, which is the Thesaurus, 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 however you say that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and we're gonna use different keywords based on a root keyword. So I can go through and say, new chat, GPT-4, code interpreter. We can say, please use the keywords in this file and come up with 25 different thesaurus type words for each. Or we can do five, let's do five. That way it's not too many. And then we're gonna give it that file, which would be uh, the top 25 keywords or whatever it is you want. And this will actually go through and find different stuff that you might want. And this is super important because now I can go through and build master keyword lists and get other keywords that are related that I might not know. Like people looking for exercise might also look for, you know, uh, trapezoids or whatever. What is a trapezoid? I think that's a muscle. I don't know. I don't have very many muscles, but when we look at this, we can see how it works and it'll actually go through and make it work in a very simple way. 
Okay, so it's going to give us an example. All right, so top, prime, leading, premiere. And these are actually really good based on the file I gave it because it was about SUVs and uh, rates and things like that. So it's pretty cool. It is doing a good job. And now I can say, uh, now please make a text file of these keywords. And it'll make a text file that I can download. And then I can bulk put this into my keyword tool, uh, which is really, really, really simple and really easy. And we can download the file right like this. And there's our keywords. And we can go through and say, oh, these are the ones that we want uh, or whatever it is. I can even go through and take my entire trigger word list like this, right, like this, and say, new chat, this, let's do GPT-4. This is a list of trigger words I use to find niches online. Can you add more to it? And here's a list. All right, like this. Notice how the list has no markets or niches. It's just trigger words to help find them, right? And it's going to go through and it's like, oh, here's some extra ones, right? And this is actually really, really good. And now I can use this and be like, oh, what do people want to optimize, right? I can go to my keyword tool and say, well, what do people want to optimize? And it'll actually do this. And this is the skill that I use to make lots of money. And we can see, okay, optimized battery charging. I didn't know that exists before. And now we can see, hey, now we got a quick start. Ah, okay, what kind of you know, things do people want to know how to quick start? Quick start, or we can utilize uh, the free keyword tool here, quick start. And I like Ahrefs again because their um, competition checker is the best. It's the most accurate. But again, you can see here's quick start templates, quick start iPhone, uh, AWS quick start. They're looking for help with different things, and AWS is pretty expensive. So if I had a quick start guide, that could be something I could make a, a good amount of money with. So very simple, very easy. Let's take a look at our next strategy, which is around here somewhere. Our next strategy would be non-competitive keyword finder, where you could go through and say something like new chat, please find some non-competitive words, let's say 50, in the mortgage market. And it'll go through and actually find them for you. Now, this is actually really cool. All right, I didn't expect it to do this, but it did. I can take this list now, and whether they're non-competitive or not, I'm pretty sure they are very competitive. So we'll go to Keyword Explorer and take a look here. And we're gonna go through, and now we can go even deeper on these keywords. So amortization, that's something I might not have thought of. And I could go to my free keyword tool and say, all right, let's find keywords related to amortization. Boom, now we got some stuff that's non-competitive. Now you're starting to see like, hey, wait a minute, this is going to help me think in a very, very different way. And now I got 25 different avenues that don't use the word mortgage except for one. There's one in here that uses mortgage. I believe there might be two, but it looks like one. And there's only one that uses mortgage, which means all of these are gonna be so non-competitive, it's not even gonna be funny. And I just drill down deeper, find the stuff they want related to mortgage insurance. And now I'm like, okay, well, let's see what they want related to mortgage insurance. Keyword explorer, mortgage insurance. And again, you can use the free keyword tools as well. But what this is going to do is at a glance, this is something I might not have thought of before. Boom, mortgage protection insurance, hazard insurance. And you can see here's some stuff that is non-competitive, very, very profitable. If you're getting it, type get it in the comments below. I know this is a long video. I know you're gonna wanna watch it multiple times, but this is where the rubber meets the road. This is a trillion dollar industry. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, search engine marketing fuels trillions of dollars in business. That is a fact. And then number seven is finding non-obvious words, which we accidentally did here. 
So finding non-competitive keywords would be good. And we could say, now find 25 more. And it'll go through and it'll find all this stuff, which is, I mean, look at this, closing disclosure. That's a fantastic keyword. And when you start to think of this in a different way, watch this, closing disclosure, here we go. We got all this traffic here and these guys are getting mortgages, which are expensive. And this market is huge. It's all green all the way down the list. Not only that, but you could go through and look at YouTube. I'll bet you there's a guy out there that has, here's me reading a closing disclosure, 44,000 views, 7,000, 4,000, on and on we go. This is traffic that makes money. Yes, you can literally have a job showing people how to read different disclosures. Yeah, see what I did there? Super important. And then number eight is page analysis. I can actually go to Google. I could search for something like closing disclosure. I can go through and find maybe this site, Rocket Mortgage. I can hit view page source, save as, and this will save it Rocket Disclosure, right like that. Okay, Rocket Disclosure. I could go into ChatGPT number four, and I can actually take this file and say, please tell me based on SEO, why this is ranking number one for closing disclosure. And it's going to go through and analyze the entire site and bada boom, bada bang. We have a path to ranking. Now it's going to look at the file and interpret it based on why it's ranking. We can ask it to find the keyword density, how it uses the keyword, latent semantic indexing keywords that are related, pretty much the whole nine yards. And it's gonna go through and analyze all the info about title tags, descriptions, and everything so you can see what ranks, why, duplicate it, and rank for yourself. You can even say, Make a chart based on the top SEO factors in this file. And it'll tell you what is most important in this file that is making it rank at the top of Google. Now, again, remember, this is on-page SEO stuff. So if you wanted to analyze backlinks, you can do that in a flash. And here we go. We can see that links is the top factor, which contrary to what other people are saying, Links are why this is ranking. And then last but not least, we are gonna use the flip the market strategy. I can go through and find a keyword list like our mortgage one, and I can say, using the keyword closing disclosure, please tell me what other markets I can flip this into that pay more money on AdSense. Let's see how this does. So it's saying legal services, mortgage insurance, home improvement. So this is doing pretty darn good. This is actually doing a really good job. Then once it does this, I can say, now please add this to this file for each keyword. Right like this, boom, and it's gonna do the intent for the entire list. And here's our file, let's see how it did. Right here. And it went ahead and added all the different things that we can flip the market into for each keyword. And if you enjoyed this video and thought it was worth an hour of your time, type totally worth watching the entire video as a comment below to let me know you want more videos like this. And also check the description for my video on the best keyword research tools.